never been treated like this in my life by anybody. You've got to understand that, you know, I mean, I've got tremendous admiration from my family. Mm. You know, we were not a well-off family, all brought up on a council estate. I was the guy that pulled us, pulled us all out of poverty and, and uh, you know, I looked, cook, took care of my parents. And to actually be discredited and humiliated in this way was just shocking. I, I do know of other donors that won't donate now because of the way I was treated. Mm. But, I, you know, the party's doing okay, the party's doing fine, and I wouldn't discourage people from donating to the party. Mm. Um, but there know. are people who, who on principle, uh, think... I know, or was it more I like know two donors, attractive? possibly three, that would donate money to the party today if I was back as treasurer. I, I, I would I'm actually, mm. bizarrely enough, Robert, I would like to donate to the party again. Mm. Because for me, that would mean the whole thing's come a full circle. Yeah. I would like a relationship with the party again, but I mean, it's not going to yeah. be—it's not going to be on their terms. It's going to be on my terms. And I'm not in a conciliatory mood, I should say as well. So if they think I'm going to be a Labrador and roll over, they've got another thing coming. No, I, d I don't think I'll result. No, I wouldn't go to legal action against the party. That would be too damaging for them, mm. and I don't think it would be necessary. Mm. Um, I think we can resolve our differences. Uh, I don't think we're that far apart. I think mm -hmm. they realise that they've made a mistake mm -hmm. and uh, I'll give them a chance to put it right. Mm. If they don't put it right, then um, and then I'll have to think about my next option. Mm -hmm. And I've got two or three options, but I'm not going to tell you today what they are. <laughs>